Now, there are good and bad reasons to not like David Wolfe. There are good reasons to like him. He's promoting health awareness. That sounds good, doesn't it? Health awareness. But when we look deeper into this health awareness, a lot of it is wild speculation, poorly tested products, claims about chocolate connecting to the sun, about mushroom spores flying off into space, about all sorts of ideas that are not scientifically true, but people take it as being real. The idea of prana, of life force energy, being concentrated in deer antlers. And so having the powdered supplement, that's apparently a good thing for your health. It's nutty, but it's not too crazy, and it's not too dangerous to believe wacky things like that. As long as you still care about real medical science and real health issues, it's not too bad. And so if that was the only thing, then I probably wouldn't talk about David Wolfe. But the real reason why so many sceptics talk about David Wolfe is not because of his slightly potty, slightly nutty, and not really scientific ideas, or indeed rejection of scientific ideas. People talk about him because of his anti-vaxxer bullshit. That's the real problem, because it's causing people to suffer. Jumping on that popular bandwagon, claiming that vaccines cause autism and other health concerns that they don't. Claiming vaccines contain certain chemicals which have been banned from the vaccines for years. Things like this cause harm, and in extreme cases, even death. And that's a good reason to talk about any so-called health guru, because if their advice is actually causing harm, if they're promoting anti-science to sell a product, and that kind of quackery should be called out, because it is causing harm. It's endangering lives. It may well cause people to reject the advice of the doctor, because people think that the doctor is working for Big Pharma, when in actuality, he is trying to look after your health and your children's health.